everybody, today we're going to show off a CFL. And I'm comparing to all these CFLs, the tiny stuff. First it's the tiny, then you might see one of these in your house. And then it gets bigger, three loops. We'll be doing a chat there. And we have another three loops. One, two, three. And likes of America, you don't really see these around. They're really um old. I picked this up at the restore. It's cool. And some of these are cool light like bulbs. Here's one with a motion sensor. It has four. One, two, three, four. Usually you see those at Home Depot or something. I like has four, it's really big. Then here's a photo light bulb. One, two, three, four. Connected, I like this one. And some of these are just for gems or stuff like that here on the ceiling, just for decoration. But I have this one over here. This one ginormous CFL that a dad gave me. Wow, this thing is huge. The tube is a bit wobbly. I'm sure it has been hanged upside down. It's the biggest CFL in my collection. It's not even a pretty compact. Look how thick these tubes are. Wow, this one's nice. They only get a million LEDs, so I'm just saying, and I'm saving this. Comparing to this one over here. Usually this one says Papa, Papa, because the Papa is the big one, right? And then, you know this has mercury in it? Look at the size of this ballast. Look, this light bulb can fit inside of here. Look at that. This one I got from Taiwan with 5 watt. Says right on there. And you have to be careful because these tubes are wobbly. You also see these in Taiwan a lot. I saw a lot of these. And um, it's eco smart. Reading the information. 124 68 watt. Wow, that's a lot. All that information. We also have another Eco Smart light. Um, Eco Smart probably makes LEDs now, not these ginormous CFLs. But um, this was Eco Smart. I actually have one of these. It says Eco Smart right on it. It's a nightlight base. It's really cool. Look at the size of this, comparing to this one. Eco Smart sure used to make small, big sizes before. So, I'm going to put on my eye protection. And um, you have to be careful if your lamp is really skinny. It might fall down because this seems super heavy. Look at the size of this. Look at the ballast. Wow, I found a lot of these in Taiwan just hanging upside down. Oh, they also do that in America too. Tubes are wiggly, of course they should, because it's super heavy. 120 volts, 68 watt. And I'm going to put on my eye protection and turn it on. Wow, geez Louisa, that's really, really bright. They got a bit of usage on these ends, usage. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit dirty. Blech. Inside it's really dirty. Looks like it got water splats on it. It takes a little bit of time to warm up sometimes. 
if your lamp is low wattage, it take a long time to warm up, which is kind of bad if it's a low wattage. 68 watt, look at that. Look how thick these tubes are. Yeah, it gets hot really fast. The whole thing's hot now. Really big electrodes for it to power this thing. Whoa, a lot of heat. A lot of heat coming from it. Turn it off. It like um takes a second to turn on actually. Um it like um when it's like really cold, um it like is all red. Of course this thing takes a little bit of time to warm up. But um it like turn on a bit slow too. It'll be really cool when it's all red. I think that's because the lamp is low wattage. Look at this thing. I love how it just comes on. Whoop. Comes on like that. Comparing to all of these things, what the heck? Wow, it really does light up my room. Just like hanging one in your basement and then it just light up your whole basement. It's Super duper bright. Yeah, super better than these. This is my biggest one. So I'm gonna turn it off. I need to let it cool down for a bit. Wow, that was some brightness. It's really dirty. I might need to clean it up. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.